James Elder, IFL TV, in association for MTK Global. I'm quite fortunate enough to be joined by Liam McKenzie today. We're here in East Dulwich Hamlets football ground, mm. also a home of Liam McKenzie and his dad, Clinton McKenzie. Firstly, how are you, sir? I'm good, man. Just getting ready to rock and roll. Good. I mean, got a big fight coming up on Saturday, firstly. Let's talk a little bit about the, the sort of what happened coming into this fight and the details behind it. Um, I was originally supposed to fight Alan Higgins. Um, he pulled out on two occasions. I think one was via a broken nose. And then the second time around, he, uh, he wasn't in the gym. We got a uh, call from his manager um, saying that he's not really been in the gym. He's not mentally right. So that had to uh, pass me by. Um, but, you know, I, I messaged him because uh, from a personal point of view, you know, if, he, if he's got his own personal things going on, I just said, listen, beat yourself back um, best you can. And, um, you, know, we, you know, I will wish you well and, uh, you know, get, get your mind right. And he was like, you know what, thanks a lot. So, you know, you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Um, and, you know, he pulled out twice for a reason, but hopefully he'll be back in the ring soon. But he's out of the way for now. And, um, you know, uh, brave cello render um, has uh, took his place. Cello Render stepping up in place of Alan Higgins, as you said, dangerous Cello. He's very well experienced, been in with some great people. What are you expecting from Cello Render? He's going to come to fight. Um, he's, you know, he's game. He's, he's tough. There's no underestimating him. Um, he's 42 fights in or so. I'm um, 10 fights in. Uh, you know, he's vaguely um, a lot more experienced than, than, than what I've got. But you know, from a, from a from a DNA point of view, from from what I'm gonna bring, um, just being an awkward southpaw and, and everything else, just feel like it's just the wrong time. Even though you are only ten fights into your career, you've had mm. you've had some good fights, you've had some good wins. You picked up a bit of momentum, yeah. notably beating John McCallum when he was seven and zero. Good bit of sort of needle and animosity in that fight. Mm. Uh, you had a great win over Calvin Young as well. Mm. Uh, great, There's not really been no animosity win. with um, Cello. I know Cello anyway. Obviously, he's a Peterborough boy. Um, so there's always been that kind of respect between us both mutually. Yeah, that's because um, you're, you're in the Peterborough Hall of Fame. You're a legend of the club. Well, I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, I know like he's bringing a couple of coaches. Um, so that's, that's good. But um, when, he sort of, uh, so when he sort of said that, I, I had to sort of slip in my my picture of my Hall of Fame uh, article uh, that's up in my front room. So uh, I, p I tweeted that just for like a bit of banter, really, because, um, you know, I am in the Hall of Fame at um, Peterborough United, so uh, that would be interesting. But I'll be, I, it'd be good to see some Peterborough fans, um, although, like, they'll probably be um, supporting Trello because he's a Peterborough boy. I know that the, the respect thing is there and there's always love there in regards to that. Yeah, yeah as, as we mentioned, you've got some mutual opponents um, and some... Some more potentially opponents that you may face in the future with mm. Cello Render. He's obviously got a, a draw as well on his record with Jermaine Smile. Mm. You lost a close split decision uh, to Jermaine Smile. Mm. I know controversially, you're, in your head, you'll probably think you, you've done it. It wasn't my best performance. You know, it wasn't my best performance, and uh, it, it wasn't my night. Um, could have gone another way, but it didn't. So that you know, that's the way it goes. That's boxing. Mm. Do you take aspiration from from other people who have made that transition from different sports and been successful? Obviously, we saw Conor McGregor make that transition <coughs> not so successfully, mm. uh, might I add. But we've it's also a different seen kind of level, obviously. You're we've also seen Curtis Woodhouse as well go from football to to getting his hands on a British title. Do you draw inspiration from from Curtis per se? Uh, with, within reason, I think that I draw inspiration within my own journey. So um, everything that's happened in my life, that's where I draw my inspiration from, and the people around me. So. Um, you know, it's all about the journey. It's always it's all about one's journey. I never really uh, watch too many people. I think, um, like you, like Curtis Woodhouse, you know, brings his own kind of inspiring uh, story. But again, it's still a little bit different to my own life. Obviously, we have um, similarities with the football, um, and he went on to achieve some magnificent things. And obviously, he's back now um, as well, fighting. But for my own path and my own destiny. Um, I'm in control of, of what I'm, I'm doing. I know what's happened in my life and, and what uh, positivity is coming from it. So it's all about positive energy and, and being the best you can be and, and trying to fulfil whatever you're trying to achieve. For those that haven't read your book, My Fight, it's quite an inspirational story and it shows the, the pressures that some people in the public eye go through that 
you may not be aware of or when you look at someone you see them on the telly you expect everything to be great but mm. you never know the demons someone's someone's fighting or has in the past inside them exactly that and um, like I say you never know when someone shuts their um, doors um, how they're feeling what's going on in their personal life you just don't know what, what, what that person's going through so I'm never really too quick to judge someone um, you know like a, uh, a big example um, Alan Higgins pulling out twice of a fight and you know he, the kid can fight so I don't think it was because he didn't want to fight me but uh, you know sometimes personal reasons can get hold of us and you know if we're not mentally right especially in this industry then you know we have to really think about things so we have to, we have to be very uh, delicate to how we uh, approach people just in general mm. you seem like you're in a very good place mm. both spiritually mentally and physically you don't look very gaunt you look all right at the weight mm. Mm. for the fight I mean what what's been a highlight of your career so far including the football the boxing and obviously being in boys to men <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. You see with you, Jake, because I listen. Look, coming, coming, coming to that, right? Yeah, you sent me a message last night with with was it Dwayne Hotshot? It was Dwayne Hotshot. Yeah, yeah. Dwayne Hotshot. So listen, although Dwayne's my boy and that, we don't look like each other. So you're trying to sort of like say, oh yeah, mate, like, is it because of the beard or the bald head? <laughs> I just saw the thumbnail and I thought you'd done a great interview. Whatever, I, think, I was mate. struggling to tell the difference oh, between you and Dwayne Hot We're not, we're not all the same. Hot we're, we're, we're from South. We're, we're representing all different in different ways, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> um, my, my my highlights in my careers has been a many. Obviously, first and foremost, making the transition, having my debut at the age of 35, that was a really big deal because mm. we never know what way it's gonna sort of go. Um, and as we, we, we sort of uh, get on in my career, I haven't had like particularly easy fights. Everyone's come to win and everyone's come to take off my head. So um, I think I've handled it uh, pretty well within you know consideration of, I've had no amateur fights. I've had no um, you know background of fighting only from my, my family um, I'm watching and studying from early ages um, that's what gives me the the, the the edge but I'd say probably John McCallum because it became a little bit personal so although I was stepping in the ring to beat that guy um, he took it to a personal level and said something to try and maybe win the fight psychologically uh, with um, you know suggesting mental health uh, you know issues and, and kind of slander in it um, so I had to sort of step up not just for myself but step up for people that do suffer and do lose people via to mental um, health issues um, whether that be through suicide and everything else and I just had to pull it on him and 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 that's exactly what it was and, and, and it was the same situation in the fight so that was probably my best um, highlight to date and then obviously going on to that led to you know like your Kelvin Young who um, I demolished in, in one round. I see it. That was the end of that. Now you may not have had that that amateur experience or that yeah. experience. Well, but it's kind of untruly on because I remember being a little fat kid in your dad's gym at about ten years old, mm. in, above mm. in the near above the Half Moon Pub, and I remember seeing you coming in regularly, sort of training in your Crystal Palace kit and stuff. You would have probably mm. been about. 31 then <laughs> I remember you sort of coming in and yeah. so you've always been around it and I mean your uncle Duke mm. and your dad are both both been professional boxers yeah. professional trainers and involved yeah. heavily in the sport so you have got an advantage on other people that may have started boxing later shall we okay. say okay well um, I think it's more of um, okay I was, I was training but to correct it I wasn't fighting competitively. I've never had a competitive fight. So it's always a little bit different. You know, yeah. you can spar all you want and you can be in the gym all you want. But until you actually step in, then you, you really see what's going on. But, you know, I can, uh, you know, I'm, I'm tough within, within reason. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're at some point I've got, I've, I'd say, some ability to, to really uh, shock people still. So even like I'm 40 next year, and it is what it is. I can only take each fight as it comes. So, you know, I always look at what a fight is is ahead, and um, Saturday is the fight ahead, and um, we'll see what happens after that. You are quite young, forty though. I know you've kept yourself in good nick over the years, especially with the football and stuff. Take away the rubber knees, you're pretty much, pretty much in well, aesthetically <coughs> and, and physically good condition. As, you know what, Jay? It's good days and bad days. I've got five kids. Had two divorces, trust me, it sometimes catches up with you. So some some mornings I'm like, oh wow, 
Like, you know, it's a lot of juggling to do. So sometimes I do feel like I'm fighting. And the training don't get any easier. It's, it's, it's tough. It's really tough. But we're still going. I think I'm in the best shape I've been in since I, I started boxing. I, I'm calm. I've matured a little bit more. Anyone that knows me and that, that sparred with me and trained with me and, and even to a certain extent fought me will we'll, we'll tell you the truth. Have I really you, believe that. Have you given Chelo Renner the, the respect he deserves in the way you've put your effort in for this camp? Do you feel you've I trained so. diligently I'm, for this? I, I'm not a uh, chatty, chatty, you know, get on the whole Twitter thing and start trash talk. I'm, it's not really in me. Um, and to be fair to him, he's not. He, he's a little bit like kind of. He moves a little bit kind of weird sometimes, but he's he's pretty. He seems to be a pretty straightforward guy. So I'm sure that you know we're we're gonna put on a good fight. But the respect is there for him. But you know when the bell rings, we're gonna see what time it is. Steve Goodwin cars at your call are fantastic. I said this to someone yesterday. The way he sets it up with the lights and the smokes, it's not. It's not a low budget production, no. it's going to be fantastic. Have you done a lot of tickets for the fight on Saturday? We yeah, know Renda's got a couple of coaches coming, so what, what are you looking at for tickets? Well, yeah, Renda's got a couple of coaches coming. Um, probably one of them coaches is, is for, for me, but we'll, we'll keep that quiet, Renda, don't worry. But yeah, um, yeah, uh, I've, yeah I, always, I always do okay. I'm a massive, massive, massive uh, ticket seller. That's probably why you, know, you don't see me fighting at like... Um, on big, 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 big shows. But like I say, my journey is, is what it is. Um, um, I've, oh, I always sell sort of a couple of hundred anyway. So <clears throat> you'll hear my people, trust me. And um, I'm excited, I'm calm. I'm just ready to roll now, man. Have you got a fight prediction for us at Eiffel TV for your fight with Chelo Renda on Saturday? I never predict, but I will do everything um, I can to win. It's all about winning. No matter how I do it, that's how I'll do it. Um, whether that be knockout, stoppage, points, as long as I get the win. We're expecting a great contest on Saturday. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. If you are available to get yourself down to York Hall, yeah. tickets are available via Leon, uh, Chelo Renda and uh, various other boxers mm. who are fighting on the undercard, including John yeah, McIntyre. Yeah, respect to all the boxers as well, undercard, and obviously John McIntyre's defending his English title as well. So we sparred together. Um, he's a, a tough cookie, so... I'm, I'm hoping he'll be victorious for that. And my, 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 my boy, um, Grant Dennis, who's, who's fighting again as well, um, Southern Area Champion. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. I actually interviewed his brother, Jordan Dennis, yesterday. Yeah, Jordan's cool. Yeah, he's a nice, humble good kid. Yeah, and he's, 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 he can fight as well. Good people. All right, well, we expect a great uh, fight on Saturday. Thank you very much, Leon. Great to get yep. you back on the channel, mate. And um, we'll see you then. Thank you. Top man.